oh shoot uh this is awkward i didn't know you were coming through today come chill i would have made you a cup of tea here i'll share mine <laughs> how are you tell me about your day i'm glad you're here so today we're having a little bit of peach detox tea um I always test it with my spoon first to make sure it's not super hot. That's delicious, by the way. I hope you don't mind. I'm super casual today. I just finished working out, um, and I wanted to just have a casual conversation with you guys. Um, you saw in my last video how I was talking about my hydration method, the hydration journey that I'm on with my natural hair right now. I wanted to be transparent with a few other things that... Um, I'm hoping to improve upon on my natural hair journey. So one thing that I haven't really talked about on my channel a lot is the shedding and the hair loss that I'm experiencing. And to be honest, I just, I always thought that it was just a natural thing because for the longest time I've had this issue. Even when my hair was relaxed, I would shed a lot. And I never really thought like, maybe this is a medical concern, maybe this is a medical issue, you know, let me get this checked out. I just thought it was a natural part of my journey. But looking back at photos from when I first started my hair journey to now, I can see how my hair has thinned out. I can see how my hair was a lot fuller. And the fact that I never really got the length that I wanted to experience, well, granted, I've done a lot of big chops and I, I trimmed my, my hair myself for the longest, but I never really got the length that I wanted to. I felt like length or tension was always an issue for me. So I'm just, I'm really taking it seriously now. Um, I'm also noticing some changes in my fingernails um to where they are just like super brittle they'll break and then i get like discoloration like sometimes i get like white ridges in my nails or i mean i cut them super short so i don't see it right now if you look at my pinky nail you may be able to see it though so do you see how it's a little discolored there it's that white typically if my hair if my nail was longer it would just be like my long nail but then it would be the ridge like in the middle or sometimes it would just be the entire length of the nail so those are things that concern me um last year when i had all of those medical issues with my migraines i did get a lot of blood work done i got a lot of um ultrasounds i did do an ultrasound of my thyroid but i think i just want to go back and get some blood work done i want to check my hormones because you know your body and the fact that I'm experiencing these changes with my hair loss, with my fingernails, um, I'm noticing mood swings and just me having a heightened sense of anxiety. Now granted, we're in a pandemic and you know, 2020 was shit. So I get that, but I just feel like my mental health is, <laughs> is up and down, up and down, up and down. And when you Google, you are going to self-diagnose, right? But literally everything, when I Google um, hypothyroidism, almost everything that it says as far as side effects, almost everything I'm experiencing, the mood swings, the heightened anxiety, the hair loss, the inability to lose weight. I've been going hard for over two months now and I haven't lost a pound. And that says a lot to me um, when I, just a few months ago, I was living a completely sedentary lifestyle. If you compare the two, it almost looks like I haven't done anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting up between five and six in the morning every day. I'm working out for a good hour, hour and a half. And that's typically four to five times a week that I'm working out compared to a few months ago, I wasn't working out at all. My physical activity was walking around my house or chasing after my kids or randomly going to the park and you know running with them for a few minutes. But I'm literally busting my ass four to five times a week now and I'm not seeing the results that I want to see. And I did start working out for my mental health, but I feel like it's kind of backfiring now because now I'm second guessing like, well, damn, I'm going this hard. I'm eating healthy. I'm getting more protein. Why aren't I losing the weight? So just all of those things combined are making me want to just go to the doctor, get a full wellness check, get all of my blood work tested again, and just really hone in on what could be going on with me. So I just wanted to have that conversation. A lot of changes that I've been noticing and I have to I have to associate it to something. I have to link it to something because I know that something it, there's some type of underlying issue. So that's where we are now. Um I have been super hard on myself, but I'm trying to just give myself grace because like I said, my lifestyle has completely changed and I know that I'm in a better space. I know that I'm doing very well and I am very proud of myself. 
but there are just some changes that I would like to see to kind of complement that and give me that positive reinforcement like hey you should keep going so I'm just frustrated I'll get over it though this is just a venting video and, and I guess just me saying um yeah I am super encouraging I'm you know I consider myself like the internet's cheerleader right like I will spend hours on TikTok each night sometimes. Like if there's nothing for me to do, I'll just spend hours on TikTok looking at people's videos and hyping them up. Like, ooh, you killed that makeup look. Ooh, I see you, you know, working out to try to lose weight. Like I'm the internet's cheerleader, but I'm so hard on myself and I hate that. But again, I'm trying to give myself grace and I'm trying to just be very transparent in my progress, but also just kind of acknowledge the way that I'm feeling. So right now I'm not feeling the best but I'm sure that I will get through this soon. And that's that's that. I hope that you're doing well though. Um, like I said, let me know down below and I will catch you in the next video.